I think everyone can agree that no matter what, you always have some weapon that has a special place in your heart. And if you don't own the weapon at the time, you're constantly looking at pictures of it, or you are constantly thinking about shooting it, or you see somebody shooting one and you think, man, I wish I still had my old whatever. Uh, you know, it's like an old girlfriend or something. For me, that weapon is a Mosin Nagant, specifically an M44, personal defense. And you are looking at my newest purchase. This is a Russian Ishvesk M44, also dubbed the Fugly Stick. Like an idiot, I sold my old pristine condition M44 Mosin to try and get parts for my uh, AR-15 that I was building that I'm doing a 300 blackout upper for, but that's a whole nother video. And then I started thinking about the M44 and everything I liked about it, yada yada yada. So I started looking. For some reason these things are starting to become scarce, especially locally. I couldn't find one. They used to be all over the place. Well, the 9130s used to be all over the place. The M44s have always been kind of hard to find, but now, man, the prices are going up like crazy, too. So I put out a feeler on a local gun page, and I said, you know, I'm looking for M44, cash in hand. Nobody had one. A couple people had some 9130s, and then this guy uh, responds and says, I have a really ugly M44 that's got uh, some modifications done to it, and we're using the term modification loosely. Uh, you can have it for a hundred bucks. No, I'm sorry, he wanted 150. So I said, all right. So I met up with him, and I, when we get there, it didn't have the sling. I bought this sling, but we get there, and I start looking at it, not matching numbers. Uh, you'll notice right off the bat, the metal, it's usually like black or a parkerized finish, and almost looks stainless. And. Uh, Check this out. This is one of the quote unquote modifications, a threaded barrel. Uh, so I started looking at it. The bayonet is gone. And I might be wrong. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. I think these bayonets, you can take the bayonet off, but the mounting point I think is permanently fixed to it. So I think what they did is just ground it down. Just so it was like a round ring there. So the bayonet's gone. I was looking at it. Pretty rough shape. Uh, I said, dude, what happened to the bluing? He said, oh, I think the previous owner uh, chemically removed all the bluing, as you can see here. And then, so I started looking at it some more. It's pretty beat up, man. But you can see it's an Ishvesk 1946 M44. It's got yellow paint on the front sight there, so I assume they were shooting it, and it's decently accurate. He claimed it to be very accurate. Uh, the stock, actually, you know what, the stock's not in horrible shape, but, and it has fugly painted on the back there. And so I got to look at it, and I said, dude, I'll give you 50 bucks. And then he kind of got upset about it, and then we kind of argued a little bit. And then, so finally, we settled on $60. For $60, I got a chemically stripped, um, threaded barrel Russian M44. Some people might be excited about the threaded barrel, but I'm not. One of my favorite things about an M44 is the huge muzzle blast when you shoot this thing, especially if you shoot it at an indoor range. The thing sounds like a cannon going off. So, anyway, uh, you're looking at some uh, surplus ammo up there. Oh, you know what? I take that back. I think it's wolf ammo. So, I was looking at this, and I thought, man, I'm going to restore it. I'm going to redo the stock. I'm going to blue the metal. I'm going to get a bayonet, I'm going to sand down the threaded part of the barrel there so it's not a threaded barrel. Then I got to thinking about it and I thought, man, this was $60. He claims he was using it for a hog gun and he says it's very accurate. So I'm thinking, screw it, I'm just going to leave it like this, it's $60, this will be my fugly stick. And it's pretty fugly. Uh, it functions. I just had to, I did test the function. Works well. I've been in several arguments with people before about these uh, weapons. I am convinced that the 7.62x54R fired out of a Mosin 
within maybe 50 yards can uh, disable a vehicle by penetrating the engine block especially a newer model vehicle with an aluminum engine block and the reason I say that is because uh, we took some brake rotors out one time to shoot in the desert and they were off of my uh, well the rotors were for a 2005 Subaru STI the front rotors they're big rotors they're tough rotors and uh, we were shooting them with my AR and it was kind of just going tink 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 like bouncing off of it you know and then we fired the Mosin at it and it just completely obliterated the rotor so I might be wrong anybody ever tried it uh, yeah so you're looking at my $60 fugly stick that I will hopefully probably not but hopefully keep till the end of time or till shit hits the fan at least thanks for watching